Miles Johnson is a sports writer. He is a pastor's kid, a son, a brother, and all around a sports enthusiast that just loves to bring joy to other people. Aaron Rodgers makes Kyrie Irving look like Muhammad Ali. I'm gonna just flat out say this night showed why they should trade Ben Simmons ASAP. You have a guy so I started Real Talk with MJ. I founded it back in July of 2020. And during that time, it was quarantine, wasn't doing much in the house. And initially, you know, well, in the beginning of that year, you know, obviously going through some hardships with not going with, uh, you know, leaving school uh, and going back home. Uh, during that time in March, my grandmother, uh, my great grandmother, she passed away. And, you know, during that time I was in the crib, uh, I was, you know, facing some depression. Uh, but what helped me through that was watching some of my, some of my favorite podcasts, like All the Smoke, Million Dollars Worth of Game, uh, and, you know, and other sports podcasts as well. And, you know, I just thought in July or in, in June, I was like, you know what, I can start my, my own podcast, my own platform. And that's really what Real Talk with MJ started from. Now, even before that, I, in 2019, right before I went to Morehouse, I had an Instagram page called uh, MJ Talk Sports, and I would just talk about the NBA and all that stuff. And, you know, I stopped that freshman year to just to focus on my work. Uh, but, you know, starting Real Talk with MJ it was just my own way to start my own platform and just really you know, start my own career in journalism uh, and in you know, just reporting sports. What Simone Biles is doing right now, I mean, she is the best, she is the greatest athlete in the world right now, over LeBron. What starting Real Talk with MJ taught me is first editing. Now, prior to starting Real Talk with MJ, I had no editing experience, none at all. Uh, and having this podcast, I really gained the experience to edit in Premiere Pro, uh, and to also produce content on all social media platforms, on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram Reels, and also have produced, Insta produced podcast episodes on Anchor FM. As you know, producing content on YouTube, Instagram Reels, and TikTok are very different platforms, and you have to use different strategies to produce content on those various platforms. And so what Real Talk with MJ has taught me is to use what I do with my podcast and specify it for each specific platform you're saying that it's the end of the world that this happened or whatever it's not the end of the world she can still bounce back from it and and in fact this will make her story even better my long-term goal is to use real talk with mj and partner it up with a big sports network and ultimately broaden my platform and to reach audiences that i never thought i could reach so this past summer, I was a Chevrolet NNPA fellow, and in this internship, I produced content for the Atlanta Voice and Chevrolet. Yeah. I see gas stations, you know, all around me, but I don't see, you know, charging stations. Also, after my senior year of high school, I interned at WDAS FM under Miss Patty Jackson, and what this internship taught me is what happens behind the scenes in production. And I got great experience learning what happens before Miss Patty Jackson comes on there. And she was great. She has been a mentor to me in my journalism career. And I'm just grateful to be, to have that internship and to have that experience to know what goes on behind the scenes. So the biggest obstacle I've overcome is having a stutter. And you might think a guy that has a stutter, how could he be on TV talking about sports? How can he have a, his own podcast talking about sports? Uh, but I really think it's a blessing. Uh, and in the beginning, when I was a young, when I was younger, I used to always think that, you know, it was something wrong with me. That you know, how could I be the one that has a stutter? The fact that you know, this is what I want to do. I want to talk on TV about sports. I want to do communications. You know, how could I have a stutter and do this? Uh, but I was, I was in a camp, uh, a stuttering camp, and Dr. Joe. Uh, it was his camp. Uh, it was around maybe summer of 2018. Uh, and prior to that camp, you know, I still had the thoughts of, you know, stuttering, you know, I'm just, I'm so ashamed of it. I'm, I'm so ashamed of, you know, kind of who I am. Uh, but what that camp taught me is that to not let stuttering be something that, that holds me back, but for it to be a springboard that propels me forward. And since being in that camp, I've never let stuttering hold me back. So whether it's doing a podcast episode, whether it's interviewing folks, whether it's doing you know videos for Tiger TV and Maroon Tiger, you know I've never let stuttering really hold me back from anything I wanted to do. 
uh, and ultimately it's something that I'm grateful for because I believe that I would not be where I am if I did not have a so sudden. So people have said that Travis Hunter made a big mistake by going to Jackson State instead of Florida State. Let me say this, if he went to Florida State, He's gonna get a bleep. Who I credit to most for my success has gotta be my dad. Now, mom, I love you, but my, what my dad has taught me uh, is really about hard work. And I firmly believe that I wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't have my worth ethic. And that's what he taught me. Now, who taught him that was my great granddad, my papa, and I can attribute my success to him as well uh, because both of them really taught me about staying on your grind and was really being a hard worker. Because if you're sticking to what you do, what you do best, what you love to do, and you're not knocked off your grind and you're you know, steadfast on you know, being dedicated to your craft, uh, that's something that you know, I've really taken, you know, taken with me uh, and something that my dad has channeled in with me since I was six or seven years old. And it's just followed up with me until I'm now 20 years old, started my own podcast, the sports editor of Maroon Tiger and all that. Uh, so I would say that my dad and really my papa are the main male figures that have influenced me, are the main you know, reasons why I'm successful now. KD's legacy different now. The fact that he was able to take Golden State to seven games, up 3-1, with a teammate like Russell Westbrook. We might have to three. Not going to lie, it's hard. Uh, you know, being a full-time student as well as trying to uh, you know, keep up with content, keep up with the latest sports games, sports news and all that. Because, you know, with sports, you have to be on time. You can't be a day late. You can't be two days late or else it's, or else it's old news. Uh, but what I do is I normally try and, uh, you know, record my podcast episodes early in the day. A lot of my classes are in the afternoon. So if I can record my episodes early in the day, edit them real quick and be able to get them out early in the day, uh, or at least before I start a class. That's how I normally, you know, record my podcast episodes. So I <laughs> Morehouse has helped my journalism career in so many ways. Now I can remember for when my dad brought me down here for admitted students weekend or sometime around my sophomore year of high school, I was visiting Morehouse and he actually set up a meeting with me and, and, and uh, the director of the journalism program, Mr. Thomas. And Mr. Thomas told me, you know, what am I doing right now to, you know, be a sports writer and to really put my, you know, really start my career in journalism. And I said, I wasn't really doing too much. Uh, I was, you know, watching some, you know, undisputed or first take. I was watching some, you know, daily sports talk shows, but I wasn't doing much on my end. And Mr. Thomas challenged me to, you know, write for my school newspaper at the time. And that's why I did. Uh, and since then, Morehouse has really nurtured me in my, in my journalism career uh, with helping me get internships, with writing recommendations for internships, with, you know, giving me, with helping me become a better writer, with me taking basic news writing, advanced news writing, sports reporting. So Morehouse has a bunch of journalism classes that are great for journalism majors, for students that are interested, interested in journalism. And I can't thank Morehouse enough. It's the best decision that I ever made to go to, to this school. And you see that we're seeing, we, we see Spike Lee every other week. We see Jalen Brown. So Morehouse is doing a great job and the journalism program is really stepping up, especially this year. And we're seeing, you know, the great things they can do. And I'm excited to see the next journalism students that can come from Morehouse as well. Do you think that the Falcons should have looked, you know, in that direction of getting a quarterback instead of getting Kyle Pitts? Yes, to answer your question, I thought they should have drafted Justin Fields. I thought that was the right pick for the Falcons. I was I was on the bandwagon of saying, What's hey, next? Man. What's next for Real Tech with MG? Now, if y'all don't know, I post content on Instagram Reels, TikTok, and YouTube at least three or four times every week. And what I want to do is to have, first off, more segments, more segments where it's like uh, Wednesday, word of, the, word, of the, word of the day, Wednesday, word of the day, uh, but have more segments uh, 
or Overreaction Monday. Uh, but I want to have more segments throughout the week. I'm going to give you guys at least five YouTube videos a week. And I'm also going to produce content on obviously TikTok, Instagram Reels on a, on a more consistent basis. Uh, and I feel like that will really enhance my you know podcast platform. You're going to see more interviews with me interviewing guys that have either, you know, when been you know, that are either sports journalists right now that have gone through you know various ESPN internships, you know different sports athletes. So be tuned, you know, stay tuned for, to see more interviews uh, and just more content all around on NFL, NBA. But we're gonna tap into boxing, MLB. So be sure to, to tune in for all of that.